Hello, this is Sarah with Posh Pooch Designs. And today's video, I'm going to show you how to crochet a cover for a five inch flower pot. And this makes a great gift for Mother's Day or Father's Day or birthday or housewarming or anyone who loves gardening and plants. Now in our previous video, I showed you how to make the polymer clay plant stakes. And these are great to use for herb gardens and regular gardens. You can use your Sharpie and write on them. And they're a lot of fun to make. And so that's a really great project to go along with this one. So what you'll need for this project is just a couple of ounces of cotton yarn. I'm going to be using this sugar and cream in the dark green and I'm going to contrast it with some of this lighter green. You're also going to need a needle with a nice big eye for weaving in your ends and a pair of scissors. And we're going to be stitching with our eye hook today. And then of course you'll need a five inch terracotta pot. And let me show you again how that pot looks. Now you can use a terracotta or a plastic one, whatever you have on hand. But you can also find these at your local garden centers, Walmart, any place that sells plants will sell these small pots. So go gather your supplies and we'll get busy. The flower pot cozy basically looks like this. It's going to be round and flat on the bottom and then we're going to increase and work our way up to the top from the bottom to the top. So we're going to begin with our green yarn. You can use any color that you want, like I stated. We're going to make a slip knot. And then we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. We're going to take the tail where we started and put that through that loop and then close that loop down because we're going to be stitching in that circle. And then I just make a quick little knot so my circle doesn't come undone. All right, so the first row, we're gonna be working in that circle. Put your hook in the circle, draw up a loop and chain three. One, two, three. Now we're going to chain one more because our chain three and then our fourth chain count as a double crochet chain one. And now we're going to do this seven times. We're going to double crochet and chain one. Get some more yarn out here. And just in case you're not sure what a double crochet is, we wrap our yarn over our hook go in that circle where we're stitching and pull up a loop. You'll have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, go through the first two. Yarn over and go through those second two. That's a double crochet. Chain one. Now our chain three counted as our first double crochet and then our chain one. And then we double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one. So we want to have a total of eight double crochet chain one counting our chain three. So there's three. We need to do a few more. Four. Five. Six. seven, and eight. Chain one. Now let me count to make sure I didn't get off. Chain three counts as our first one. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We chained one and we're going to join to the top of our chain three, not the chain four, but the chain three. So here's our first row. For the next row or round, 
we're going to go in the next chain one space and chain three. One, two, three. Then we're going to chain one because our first three chains count as a double crochet and then our next chain counts as a chain one. And then we're going to double crochet in that same chain one space. Now we're going to go to the next chain one space and we're going to double crochet chain one and double crochet. Now we're going to go to the next chain one space and we'll repeat double crochet, chain one and double crochet. And we'll do this all the way around in each one of those chain one spaces and then we'll have eight V stitches and the V stitch is the double crochet chain one double crochet so in each chain one space we're double crocheting chain one and double crochet all the way around and then we'll join to the top of the chain three with a slip stitch. So this is how our second row should look. We should have eight V stitches working around and we're going to be working off those eight V stitches as we work up the sides. So for the beginning of round three we're going to go in <clears throat> the chain one space between the first two double crochets. You'll have that chain three, chain one, and then a double crochet, and we're going to go right in that chain one space, and we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. Now, the chain three counts as a double crochet, and the last chain counts as our chain one, and then we'll double crochet in that same chain one space and we're going to repeat what we did the last row only we're going to be putting a chain one between our V stitches so we'll chain one and then in the next V stitch in between those next two double crochets in that chain one space we're going to place a double crochet chain one double crochet and then chain one and by chaining one it gives us a chain one between all of our v-stitches around so now we go to the next v-stitch in the chain one space we double crochet chain one and double crochet and then chain one and we'll do this all the way around this row We'll have eight V stitches with a chain one in between. So double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, then we'll go to the next V stitch. So there's the third row we did. We did it just like we did the second row, only we placed a chain one between our V stitches. And this row, row four, is exactly the same, only we're going to be placing two chains between our V-stitches. So we're going to go right in between those two double crochets in the chain one space and chain four. Then we'll double crochet in that same chain one space. And then we're going to chain two. One, two. Then we'll go to this next V stitch and we'll stitch double crochet, chain one, double crochet, there we go, and then we'll chain two, one, two. 
and we'll continue this all the way around this row. We'll make the V-stitch in the V-stitch, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, and then we'll chain two. And this is what we'll do all the way around for row four. And then again, we'll join to the top of the chain three at the beginning of the round. This is the way the bottom of your pot cozy should look after round four. And I just wanted to pull this one back out so you can see the way it works is there's our first two rows, that's the bottom, and we're continuing to work in the V stitches as we go up. And what we're doing different is chaining more between the V stitches. And so we did uh, no, no chains, then we did one, then we did two, and then we'll do three, and then we'll do four between. And this gives us that gradual um, flare so that it fits the pot nicely. All right, so now we're going to do row five. And row five, we do just like row four. The only difference is we're going to place three chains in between our V stitches. So we'll go in that chain one space between the first two double crochets. We'll chain four. One, two, three, four. Then we'll double crochet in that chain one space. yarn out here and then we're going to chain three one two three then we'll go to the next V stitch and stitch a double crochet chain one and double crochet and then we'll chain three chains one two, three, between the V-stitches. And we'll do this all the way around. V-stitch in the V-stitch, which is a double crochet, chain one and double crochet. And then we'll chain three. One, two, three. And that's the way we'll work all the way around for round five. There's our first five rows, and now we're going to stitch row six. And again, it's the same. The only difference is instead of three chains between, we're going to have four chains between. So we'll go in, chain one space between the first two double crochets, and chain four. Then double crochet in that same space. Whoops, there we go. Then we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. Then we'll skip over to our next V stitch and stitch a V stitch, which is double crochet, chain one, double crochet. And then we'll chain four. One, two, three, four. Now we're to the next V stitch and we're going to double crochet, chain one, double crochet, making a V stitch in the V stitch and then chain four. One, two, three, four. And then we'll repeat this all the way around this row. V stitch in the V stitch, chain four. V stitch in the V stitch, chain four all the way around and then join to the top of our chain three. So this is how it looks for row six and row seven we stitch it exactly like row six. We stitch the V stitch in the V stitch, we chain four, we don't do any increasing anymore. So we're going to go in our first V stitch and chain four double crochet, 
in that same chain one space and chain four. So row seven is exactly like row six. V stitch in the V stitch. And chain four. We're done increasing. This is as wide as we want it to go. And so now we're just doing it the same for row seven that we did for row six. There we go. Chain one, double crochet, V stitch, and then chain four. One, two, three, and four. And again, we do this all the way around, join to the top of our chain three. Here we are up through row seven. And now row eight, we're gonna do just a little bit different. We're gonna start the same, chain four, double crochet in the chain one space, and then in this chain four space, we're going to stitch three double crochets. Going right through the chain four space, stitching three double crochets. So we're going to stitch the V stitch and then three double crochets. So I'm to the next V stitch. So I'm just going to stitch my V stitch, double crochet, chain one and double crochet. And now I'm to the next chain four space and I'm only going to stitch three double crochets. One, two, three. And this is bringing it in just a little, not a lot, but just a little because we don't want it to fall off of our flower pot. So I'm to the next V stitch. We're going to V stitch, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. And now I'm to the next chain four space and I'm only going to stitch three double crochets through that chain four space. And this is what we'll do all the way around for row eight, V stitch, three double crochets, V stitch, three double crochets, all the way around, and then we'll join to the top of that chain three again. So this is what your row eight should look like. V stitch, three double crochets, V stitch, three double crochets, all the way around. Now I'm going to change colors, you don't have to, but I'm going to so I'm going to clip my yarn and I'm going to bring in this lighter green color, kind of a seafoam green. There we go. For row nine. Now on row nine, we're going to just place one double crochet and each double crochet around. All right, so I'm going to join in my new yarn, leave myself a little bit of a tail there so I can weave those in. One two, three. So I'm only going to join, I'm only going to chain three here. So I'm only going to chain three here because I'm not going to do a V stitch. And we're just going to place one double crochet in each double crochet around. So we're not going to be stitching in the chain one spaces. So this uh, chain three counts as my first double crochet. Now I'm going to go to the next double crochet of that first V stitch and stitch a double crochet. Now I'm to those three double crochets in the center there between. So I'm going to stitch one, two, three double crochets.
we're not putting a double crochet in the chain one space. One double crochet in each double crochet only. All right, so now I'm to the next V stitch. So I'm going to place a double crochet in the double crochet. I'm going to skip the chain one space and double crochet in the double crochet. And this is the way this round will be worked. One double crochet in each of the double crochets only. Skip the chain one and just go around. And we're doing this by skipping those one chain ones between all the V stitches is it's bringing it in just a little bit more so that it stays on our pot. We don't want it to slide off. We want it to stay on there and to look pretty. All right, so one double crochet. in each double crochet around. And just so that you understand, do not stitch a double crochet in the chain one space. There's the three double crochets. I stitched a double crochet in the first double crochet of this V stitch. I'm not going to stitch a stitch in the chain one. I'm only gonna stitch a stitch in the double crochet. We'll do this all the way around. And then we'll join back over here at the top of the chain three. I'm all finished with round nine or row nine. Remember, we did not put a stitch in any of the chain one spaces, one double crochet in each double crochet only. And then for our 10th row, we're going to repeat that. We're just going to put one double crochet in each double crochet around. So we're going to start with a chain three. Then we'll go right to that next double crochet and stitch a double crochet. And we'll do this all the way around. Stitching one double crochet in each double crochet around. Just another row of what we did earlier. One double crochet in each double crochet. Stitch all the way around, join to the top of the chain three. Well, we're almost done. We finished row 10 and the last thing we have to do is add the trim now if you don't want to add the trim it looks like this it's just chains attached for a nice ruffled edge if you think that's too feminine and you don't want to add it you don't have to it's just a fun little touch um, that makes it just fun there's the you don't have to add it it doesn't serve any sort of a purpose but if you do want to add it, I like it. I think it adds just a, that little extra touch. All you do is you chain four. One, two, three, four. Then you skip the next stitch and slip stitch in the next stitch. So put your hook through, pull a loop through, then put that loop through the loop on your hook. Chain four. Skip the next stitch and slip stitch in the next stitch. There we go. One, two, three, four. And this just adds a little extra ruffle. And I really like it. So I chained four. I'm going to skip this next stitch and then slip stitch in the next stitch. You'll do that all the way around and then just join with a slip stitch to that first chain and then you can tie off. 
and you'll be all done and ready to put your little cozy onto your pot to give it to a friend. I did the ruffle edge all the way around and I do really like it. Did my last chain four. I'm going to join to the first chain with a slip stitch and then I'm going to cut my yarn. Whoops, there it is. Tie off. And of course we need to weave these ends in. For right now I'm just going to pull them to the back and then I'll use my needle and weave those ends in. Alright, so let's see if it fits my pot. Now with the terracotta, you have to kind of ease it up a little because it sticks, which is kind of good because it keeps it put. All right, so there's the pot cozy on the terracotta pot. And like I said, it works with the plastic pot too. Long as you get the five inch plastic pot. I really love it in green as well as the pink, don't you? This is the five inch crochet pot cozy works great for terracotta and plastic looks nice in the two-tone as well as the one tone and of course you can use any colors that you want to now head on over and take a peek at how to make the polymer clay flower or plant stakes super easy and super fun you can even write on them and put a little message and put them in your plant. You can put um, herbs, you can put a regular house plant or flowers. Makes a wonderful gift for mom or dad or grandma, or grandpa, sister, or brother, housewarming, birthday. It's just a wonderful, thoughtful plant. And you can even get the kids involved. I bet they would love picking out yarns and polymer clay. So there you have it, our crochet five inch cozy for a plant. <music>